airport. Come on. Ticket? No. This is like the dumbest freaking. <laughs> There we go. Just checking that we have. Everything. He really don't trust me so well. He's just parking the cars. It's gonna be easy for me to get. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I hate. We're gonna drive this car so hard, Yanni. Yes, 220. <laughs> yeah, please. Please. please, do it. Honest. That's good. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, Benny. Bye, bye, Benny. Bye, 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 George, are you ready for this? Are you, are you ready, George? For the real speed. Enjoy. Bye bye. Let me put this one down. Um, or take this one in your hand. Yeah, because we. How late? Why? Are we? Why are we always late? No, we are not. We just prefer running, it's easier. We just want good exercise. We are late. On the way to the airport, I was running on. Um, you know when the gas meter tells you how far you have to go? Mm -hmm. I was running on zero, zero, zero. Because <laughs> I didn't want to take the detour. Okay. That's such a nice running technique in the airport. The sliding technique. I have a heavy backpack. Oh, <laughs> Smooth as butter. Yeah, my knee still hurts. Uh -huh. Like, I really seriously need to stop getting older because my brain is not getting any older. <laughs> and I still want to jump off the roof and stuff. Hey, your body is not following. No! <laughs> <laughs> and vlog at the same time. <laughs> Thank Perfect. you so much. Yeah, we thought Thank we were you. super late, but it looks like we're doing okay. To Rome? No, Frankfurt. <laughs> Frankfurt. I mean, I think we're pretty you can, late. You can go, actually. Sure? Yeah. Huh? Awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Malaga, Frankfurt. Frankfurt, final destination. Perfect. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, sir. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, it's <laughs> not. We are on time. Going from running to realizing plane is late to like <laughs> chill mode. And orange juice. And um, aqua con gas. Si. But I almost forgot. Normally we always start with good morning. Uh -huh. Today we're it's more like good afternoon. So we should say good afternoon. Yes. But what's happening? Be Benny, good afternoon. Good afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> so the reason why we're starting in, in the afternoon is because we are on our way to fly to Budapest uh -huh. because I am about to check off one of my bucket list things. Uh -huh. I am going to be able to sit in a real Red Bull Air Race plane. And I've always wanted to be in a jet fighter or planes like this, but I think uh, air race plane is about the craziest thing you can do. Oh yeah. So that is why we're starting today, because if we start tomorrow being in Budapest, it doesn't make sense. We have to start where we le left off. But now that we know that, that we're going to Budapest, I say we can spin our way to Budapest because you've seen enough airplanes in this vlog anyway. So let's spin to Budapest. <laughs> and welcome to Budapest. Yes. This is like actually the morning light. It is now Sunday morning at 5.30 in the morning. And we have had one of those uh, vlog vlogs where things do not work out. Mm -hmm. So, 5.30 in the morning and we have realized that one of the two cameras that we've been shooting the entire weekend had a corrupted memory card. Like, yeah. Benny has been awake all night trying to figure out how to get the files to be uncorrupted. <laughs> but they are not gonna get uncorrupted, so we are team positive. We do not, um, you know, let us be frustrated over things that we can't change. No. So, we are gonna try to do a little bit of voiceover and figure out how to find a new concept for this vlog. Yes. But I think we can get creative and I hope you enjoy because uh, we have had one kick-ass day. Yes, and we still have the best part. Yeah, we still have the one part that matters, the flying part. Yes. So, let's take a ride with, uh, with us today. We have B-roll, we're gonna do a bit of voiceover and the, it's as simple as that. When shit does not work out, you work with it and do the best you can. Of course. But now, we have to get on the flight and fly back towards Malaga and at the same time try to be creative. <laughs> but that is no problem. Nothing is ever a problem. No. Even never. though my brain is a little too slow to like explain everything right now. Yeah, but it was perfect. <laughs> was it okay? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, then we have a good start at replicating the day. Mm -hmm. So then we go through the security and then we can continue explaining. Yes. Perfect. Come on, Hans. Ortega Benjamin. No, Olson John. Oh, really? It was you. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, I thought Benjamin called me for the first time. No, we call you because we have a problem. We went to Budapest yesterday and then we were about to start editing when we realized that one of our memory cards were corrupted. 
<laughs> she needs to go back or what? I don't want to fly anymore, but I know you are creative and you always have good ideas. So I wanted to call you to see if you could help us figure out how to make it work in a very creative Hansish way. All right. Let's give it a try. I do my best. I'm not gonna give any guarantees away, but uh, let's do it. Have you ever heard of the Red Bull Air Race? Well, this is it. It is established in 2003, created by Red Bull GmbH. Ha! It's an international series of air races in which competitors have to navigate through a challenging obstacle course in the fastest time. Pilots fly individually, against the clock, and have to complete tight turns through a small course consisting of pilots, known as air gates. This time, the infinite YouTuber, Jun Olson, brother to Han Olson, the younger, the more successful, the, but yeah, you know that guy, he's pretty cool. But anyway, this is Jun Olson in Budapest, up in the Red Bull Air Race, with the Swedish pilot. Is he gonna pass out? Is he gonna vomit? He's a YouTuber, he's weak, he's not as athlete as he used to be. But this is it, Jun Olson against the G forces. <laughs> yeah. So did you did you get to drive the plane? Yeah, I got to fly in the plane. So I didn't. We didn't fly all the way to Budapest to look at the race. No way. Yeah. Wow, so I heard it's pretty gnarly. Like, I wasn't the least bit nervous until I saw the plane in real life. And then I'm like, I should just tell the pilot, like, can you fly so you can knock me out? Like, I mean, that was the first thing I asked the pilot. I'm like, look, um, I don't want to be cocky, but like, can you fly to knock me out? And he's like, yeah, no problem. <laughs> I'm like, really? So? And well, and then we, we talked some more and he was like, I was asking like, how often do you feel sick and knock out? And like, Normally when they do the like demo flights, it's like six to seven G. But I was like, but you know, it's better for my video blog if you knock me out. So I think you should push really hard. And then the girl's like, no, you, you, should, you shouldn't be cocky. You shouldn't have like the man disease. Like when every man needs to show how cool they are. And then they end up with puke all over the plane. So I had the, the Swedish pilot, Daniel Rifa. It, it was just like, I didn't know what to expect. So I didn't know whether I should tell him to chill the fuck out or like, you know, punch it hard. And did he knock you out? It shouldn't be that difficult. You're not that much an athlete anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no. Seriously, did you pass out? We have the GoPro footage, so what we can do is let's watch the GoPro footage and knowing that we pulled 9G, almost 9Gs at some turns. 9Gs, that's like, not, if you weigh 80 kilos, it's like 700 kilos, right? No? So yeah, you're pretty close. You're intelligent. Yeah, it was 720 kilos pressing on the seat. So look, look. Right, let's see it. Yeah, let's watch it. Ja, det känns lite annorlunda att sitta fram i ett plan. I gotta say that is by far the coolest thing I've ever experienced times 50. Like it, it was unreal. Just when like your vision starts to go black, you're like trying to breathe. All fun. But I think I'll be stiff in my body tomorrow because I was trying to tense every muscle in my body. I know, I know you get excited when you speak Swedish. Like that's the only time you get really excited. It was like when, when I saw the movie of you in the Bugatti. You're like, hello. <laughs> so that's, that's like a good sign that it's being for real, you know? Yeah, I didn't pass out and I didn't throw up. But at one point he's like, okay, you ready for a G turn? And then I asked him before, I'm like, okay, but like, what's the trick? Like, what do I need to do to not pass out? And you're supposed to like tense your whole body, like core, legs, every muscle that you can like, makes your blood stay in the brain. And here's the scary part that I get in, you know, first they put the parachute on, all, on and all this, and they explain like, here you open your belt. And that if he, he's like, if I, if I yell, bail out, bail out, bail out, he's like, that means I'm pulling the, the window of the plane and you need to open here and like jump out. And I'm like, what about that rear wing that's in the back? Like, won't I hit that? He's like, maybe, but 
at least you know, that's better to hit that than to go into the ground with the plane. But was he for real or like playing you a joke? No, 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 no he was for real. Serious. Like, I was like, you know, thinking life is all great. And then you get the parachute and like all this talk. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> but anyway, so I was asking him, I'm like, what do I do to not pass out? And when you tense your whole body, like stays up there. Well, first we went through the gate. And I'm like, oh, this is like kind of fun. And then he's like, Pfft, like pulled it. And it was like, someone dropped a house on my head. It was like, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, so he's like, okay, we're going in for G-turns. I'm like, <gasps> and you can't see it on the video, but I'm like, my legs are shaking. Cause you see it on the video. <laughs> yeah? I, I you're struggling. You're, at least me, I know you. That's not your like average YouTube face trying to look excited or something. That was like the real uh, suffering face of you also. And then I just see like a black curtain coming down on my eyes. And that was no, like... You, like you passed out? No, like it came down like... Uh, and then he let go. And then like... Uh, curtain came up again. It was like blood coming away. Wow. But yeah. this was like, if I compare this to a ride along in whatever mega supercar, like from now on cars are useless. Like the <laughs> insanity of this plane, like I could, if they told me you can fly tomorrow in uh, Tokyo, I would fly to Tokyo just to be in the plane 20 minutes. Daniel told me that, I'm like, well, what if you pull too hard, like, and you pass out? Like if I pass out, you know, it's no big deal. You, you keep flying and it's good. And he told me like once he um, turned so hard that he passed out. And then like, you know, waking up controlling the plane as it's falling down. Like, does that sound like a safe sport? No. But yeah, like as usual, um, I think we should end today's vlog, but yeah, should we end with Hans? Hans, you get the honor to finish off today's vlog and we appreciate your help and support when Team Overkill's brain is, uh, well, G-forced out of position. Okay, so I should end it now? Right here, right now? That's it. From the video blog of Hans Olsen's brother, Jun Olsen. He's not as cute, he's not as muscular, he's not as good looking, he's not as humble, he's not as, I don't know, whatever, but this is it for this time. Over now, Hedo from Ora, Sweden. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Hedo. Damn it! I knew there was something I forgot. Like, I was trying so hard to remember everything we were trying to do. But, first of all, one, I wanted to say that there's a link in the description if you want to see the actual race to see more of, like, the full course. Um, so you can check that out. And number two is that we figured this should be online at, like, earlier and on Sunday. So, Red Bull ended up putting together uh, Benny's 10 Favorite vlogs. Yes. So if you want to check out what, you know, Monsieur Ortega thinks is what's been the best of uh, um, um, our vlog <laughs> careers so far. Yes. You have all that in the description below. With a little interview. Yeah, interview like, yeah. you'll find it all in the description. That's all I wanted to say. Now we can say ciao, and uh, I'm sure Yanni wants to end with ciao as well. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> That's so horrible. Ciao.